I let out a long breath, picking my words carefully. I need to put some miles between me and Rachel's death. I keep having these really vivid dreams, and when I'm awake, I keep obsessing about her. What would she say about this? What would she do about that? Is it my fault she's gone? Like, could I have done anything to keep her safe? Realizing I was frantically gesturing all over the table, like I was pointing out dozens of places on an invisible map, I stopped my verbal avalanche of doubt, trying to silence the same tirade in my head. Deliberately folding my hands in front of me and taking a deep breath, I finally admitted the truth. I know it's not healthy. I need it to stop. John nodded. This barely perceptible thing, but it was there. John didn't reply to this, and I wound up looking out the window for a few at the cars passing on the street. A yellow taxi whizzed past, and again, my thoughts turned to the accident. I shook my head, dismissing the memories, and took a deep breath. I could have told John about what I was feeling, the conflict in my head. Was it right for me to go? Was I finally ready for a new relationship, or was this going to be some premature fire-and-forget rebound? I wished more than anything that I could somehow call Rachel and ask her what to do. I didn't feel right burdening John with my worries because I had already asked him for a lot, so I chose to not pursue it further. The Light Rail by Joseph McAvoy. Available for purchase on Kindle and Amazon Direct.